Hello, welcome to the video for what is material, the depth fade node. I have a quick little example here. We're, we're looking at is an opaque material on the left on the sphere. Sorry, and op it's technically opaque, but it is an opacity affected sphere. Basically, it's semi-transparent. And then we have a solid sphere here where it is not transparent at all. And as you can see, as I rotate around, we can see the little bit of the edge here from the transparency. And if we, of course, we go to the other side, we're blocking it out completely. So what the depth fade is intended to do is to adjust the fading between intersecting objects, a transparent and a non-transparent item, and to make it smoother. If we were to take our material here, let me put my opacity directly into it without the depth fade node and apply it. And you can see how it's very, very harsh while it compiles the shader. Once the shader finishes compiling, I've gone ahead and I have the opacity set up as a parameter that I can adjust in real time. So we can go ahead and look at it again once it finishes. And it's really, really annoying. Okay, so you can see we have this very harsh cut where the opacity and the the translucent and the opaque item are hitting each other. If I was to adjust the opacity down, you're going to see exactly where it's hitting. Now, using the depth fade, which we'll go ahead and hook it up here, it has two parameters. It has the opacity, which determines the opacity of the object, and then the fade distance depth, which determines what depth inside the object is going to what depth in the object is it going to fade from? So anyways, it's a lot easier just to show. That's why I've set up, thankfully, these things are nice enough to be able to be parameterized. I've set it up as a material instance. We'll go ahead and see what it looks like. So we have pretty much the same thing here because I have the opacity set to 1. And if I adjust my fade distance, we're going to start seeing something like this. So this is a fade distance of 0. This is going to give me the exact same effect I had before. If I'm to adjust my opacity, we're going to see it like that. So let's adjust our opacity down to 0.8 so we can see that it's semi-transparent. We're going to see this harsh line here where our sphere is intersecting with our other item. Now if we adjust the fade distance, we're going to slowly see that sharp edge get feathered and turn into something that's less harsh. So if let's say, for example, we had it like this you can see where it's fading and it's no longer a harsh edge but something more of a softer edge. If we go all the way to something like this you can see it's actually back to no edge at all. You cannot see at all where this is intersecting in here like when we had the fade distance set to zero. So this is a way of giving you a nice smoother softer edge when things fade into each other it's useful for things like maybe grass or where things are intersecting all the time. Let's say maybe you have a grass on the ground and then you have a solid ground, obviously, or you have grass and trees. You have basically grass and rocks. You have things where they're intersecting and you have your softer edges on your leaf. Or you have, like, say, for example, snow in this partial transparency, and you want the snow to fade into the ground rather than just look like it's stuck halfway in and out of the ground. You could use a depth fade like this, and it'll give you a little bit of a smoother melt into your actual opaque object. So you can see it gives it a little bit nicer effect. And, of course, it is adjustable on your instance. See, I have an instance here. And it is adjustable on an instance basis, and you can make it where it's smoother, and you get even you know something like you get something like that where you can't even tell that's an opaque object hiding behind, and the opaque object stands out completely, as you can see. And if you make the fade distance too much, of course, it's going to completely remove the item, which isn't our intent. But there you go; it gives a nice smoother effect. A lot of time, harsher edges are harder on the player and things seem to pull them out of the gameplay this gives you a nice smooth effect it looks pretty cool so that is what our depth fade node does if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them below